Hey guys, I'm Darius, and I want to take a few moments to talk with you about Barracuda Cloud Generation firewalls and how they could be a great choice as you start to consider your migration up to the cloud. Today, security is being fundamentally challenged by dispersion, the dispersion of users, data, and applications where users want to consume data on any device, anywhere, at any time, over any cloud. So what you need is a new set of tools that puts security firmly back in your control. Here are some of the considerations. You want a firewall that is purpose-built for distributed workloads, where today your workloads are based in your data center, but tomorrow they might be fragmented across multiple clouds. And those multiple clouds all work in different ways, but you need a set of tools that's going to make unify all of that and make for a great user experience. You've got to be able to support the public cloud use cases. One of those is the way in which we deploy. The deployment in a data center is largely static. But up in the public cloud, we have this elastic environment, which means we need to make use of templates. And those templates leverage APIs. And those APIs hook back into the products themselves or the firewalls themselves. You need to be able to use advanced security Advanced security in the form of zero-day protection from zero-hour threats, IDS, IPS, and on top of that, application security as well, specifically web application security and making sure that you're secure from all the vulnerabilities that might be present in those web applications. If your organization deals with operational technology or IoT, you probably have the need for lots of firewalls, tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of firewalls to, to, pr to protect those devices in your manufacturing environment or your retail environment. Now, with that scale comes complexity as well. But you've got to keep that under control. And so central management needs to be a primary consideration. If you've got hundreds of firewalls, you want to be able to manage policy centrally and have that distributed many times very easily across multiple devices. Licensing in the public cloud is a little bit different than it is on, on premises. On premises, you had one firewall, one license. But the cloud brings with it a utility type approach. And with that utility type approach, security should be no different at all. Because one day you might have 10 firewalls, and on, say, Cyber Monday, you might need 100, 1,000, 10,000 or more, you can't afford to buy one firewall, one license. We need to think of security as on a metered approach, just like your electricity bill. You should be paying for just the scrubbed traffic that your data needs or your business needs. You, your firewall needs to be very tightly integrated with the cloud platforms themselves, namely Azure, AWS, and GCP. What that means is, all of those platforms bring with them a set of tools that control the applications and the native security controls. You need to be tightly integrated with those to make sure that your applications can scale and so that you can maintain compliance against standards such as CIS, NIST, HIPAA, and so on. Finally, we need to consider SD-WAN. It's OK that we're migrating all of these applications up into the public cloud, but we need to be able to get to them securely as well. And that's the promise of SD-WAN. SD-WAN enables you to provide application control up into the public cloud for your applications so that your users have a great user experience as well. All of this comes together in a very neat package known as Barracuda Cloud Generation Firewalls.